Uh, Twin Cities real estate developer was so moved by Jacob Wetterling's case that he paid cash to buy and tear down the Annandale home of Jacob's killer. Tim Thone saw a story on WCCO about the home and even before he knew it was in foreclosure, decided he had to buy it. Thone says that he told his attorney to get the deal done and last week he wired the bank its $55,000 asking price. The city of Annandale had tried to purchase the home three times and its offers had been rejected. Tim Thone's act is drawing thank yous from a grateful community and Patty Wetterling. Here's Esme Murphy. It's definitely proof that uh, Christmas miracles do happen. From the mayor of Annandale to neighbors, there is gratitude. It's just a beautiful gift, especially this time of year. The gift is that developer Tim Thone is purchasing and plans to destroy the home of a predator, kidnapper, and murderer. This was the right thing to do. Thone says he knew the second he saw the home on TV what he would do. And I looked at my wife and I said, if that house is there, still there, I'm going to tear it down. Thone says Jacob's 1989 abduction changed the way he and his wife parented their four young children. It was very emotional. We lived on a rural lot, six acres. Our kids were not allowed to go in the front yard. Thone says he will give the land to the city of Annandale to do whatever they want with it. His only two requirements that neither his name or Danny Heinrich's name be attached to whatever the city plans to do. Two days ago, he was stunned to get a thank you call from Patty Wetterling. It was a very emotional, um, conversation. I could not, I apologize many, many times for her loss, which I can't even imagine. She just described that um, it, it, it means a lot to her. It means a lot to the children who were abused by the predator, um, too, and it could mend and heal a little bit. And Patty Wetterling said in a text tonight, what a generous gift to so many. Now, Thone says he expects to close on the deal this Friday and hopes to tear down the home next Friday, two days before Christmas. And he's gotten a number of offers from people saying they want to donate to help him buy the house. And Amelia, he says he doesn't want that money. He says he wants people to donate to the Jacob Wetterling Resource what Center. What a generous man. Absolutely. Isn't he? A any idea of what they're going to do with that land there or that area? Well, the mayor says he wants to wait for a little bit. Uh, Tim Thone says he and Patty Wetterling discussed the fact that when they grew up, kids enjoyed playing in vacant lots. So he says uh, that maybe that's an idea that they could do, but he says it's all up to the city. Other ideas for now include a veterans' memorial or even a community garden. Oh, nice. All Good. right. Thank you, Esme.